Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Rogue Legacy 2 run. And um, yeah, let's get to it right away. First of all, this is our character we got here. Uh, cannon as our weapon. First of all, we have like Contrarian, that means we get random things and that also gives us gold. And we also have Vampirism, which gives us a bunch of healing, and uh, but we take a bunch of damage. And then we got like the Cannon as our attack, Stu as our healing. So in case you don't know what the talent Stu is, it heals you, but um, health drops charge it up. So I can heal three times, and if I find a health drop instead of the health drop healing me, it heals the stew, which is good, which is good, because if I'm very low, I will need to heal somehow. And then the spell is Lightning Storm, which is this thing, which I don't think is really that good, but whatever. Now how the cannon works is, you know, we have the smack, and if I keep it held down, it also becomes a cannon, and the crits are, once again, uh, da dodge like uh, dash crits. So I can do this, but I can also do something like this, and then like backdrop like this. Something like this, and then like backdrop. Okay, and let's uh, let's get to it. Let's get actually to it. Let's see how this will go. And uh, now I was thinking about what to do with this game in general. A bunch of ideas came in, so I'm I'm really taking into consideration what you're saying. And I think everybody wants me to play the new game's save file and um, also farm a bit more. You know, just run around, do a bit of farming here and there, and then you know try to go with the bosses. There is no reason for me to just try to go to the sun tower and just die. So I'm gonna go and explore a bit of City of Agatha here, as this is the easiest stage. No, Sif, don't do the easy stage. No, obviously we're gonna do the easy stage first. Exactly, because I might lose life. No, that's not the reason. The main reason why we're doing the easy stage first is because I just need uh, relics. Like, relics is the only thing I care about, honestly. So as long as I'm good at taking relics, we should be good. Also, by the way, the lifesteal works from afar. So keep that in mind in case you want to oh, think about the balance behind this. Which is obviously very good that it works from afar. Oh no, 44 damage taken. And just like that, we're full again. That's uh, that's why Vampirism is good. Vampirism in general, in my opinion, is really good. As long as you don't get one shot, because you can one get one shot. Z, I've been gathering more and more people, Jay. People like us. People who are sick of living down here. There is an heirloom in the Citadel that grants people amazing powers. Powers that you dash through the air just like you're flying. Man, this is very old news. I've been sneaking in recruits to obtain this power, but only a few are strong enough to survive the heirlooms challenge, other than literally the first run we did. If you help train them, there could be so many more, Jay. Yeah, there could be different. Something big is happening. The people have had enough, and their anger is spilling into the streets. A war is brewing. I hope. I just hope. We're with them when it happens. So is Dre our trainer? Is that what's happening? Let's get our first relic here. Um, Dreamcatcher. This, I have no idea what this does. But this, Pandora's Trial, we know what it does. If I get, if I get uh, 10 kills, I get 50 resolve. You know what? Because we're going to go exploring relics, let's actually take this and go for the 50 resolve into whatever like else we can find. And you know, if we die, then we die. At the end of the day, this is going to be, you know, just the first run that's going to be a dead run, which I hope isn't going to happen, honestly speaking. Let's just stay like a bit too far for those cannon shots. Got two kills already. Let's jump down then up again. Okay, that was safe. <laughs> Max memory. Oh, my hands won't stop shaking. I mean, this is an old guy. <clears throat> my skin won't full of pickles, and my heart is bump, bump, bumping. Oh, I feel alive again. Oh, my nay, nay. Let's talk normally. Oh, man, nay, a rat, nay, a man rat came crawling to me on the other day with information. In return for an offering, official pardon, and some trifling gifts, he revealed everything he knew about the secret rebellion. Guys, backpack here is betraying us. He has given me everything I need to know. Letters, transcripts, memos, and more. I cannot comprehend how something this big slipped past our spies, but none of that matters. All that matters is the war is coming, and I am the only history that knows of it. My chance to show off my worth has finally arrived. I must take home and read these documents carefully. No one else can know of this. I will not let anyone take my glory. Just like that, people won't believe you. <laughs> when you're literally the only guy that knows, uh, people won't believe you. Hop, boom, up. Let's let's play the safe. Hop. I can just jump, by the way, with the cannon. Whoa, that was dangerous. Whew. We almost died there. <laughs> we almost died. I see the shot. Okay, this is done. Let's go downward slowly. Uh, as you see, at end... Oh, they changed this? No, they didn't change it. I thought I couldn't eat that. As you see on the left, uh, on the bottom left, we have only done five kills. Are you kidding me right now with all this food? Okay, I can showcase how this works. So I do this, I eat. It takes a while, as you see, but then when I take a food, I get it back. Uh, I'm not gonna go in there right now. This is extremely dangerous. I'm also not gonna go there. I mean, those are in general not extremely dangerous, but when you get one shot and die, yeah, we're not gonna take the risk. And also, I really enjoy this class right now, so I don't want to throw it away. We got a kill there. I guess we got the kill now. Let's move with this. 
Lock and loaded. Oh man, we're flying through the air when you have that lock and loaded. Let's throw a bomb. <laughs> Stay away from me. Okay, eight more to two more to go. Here you go, boom, one more to go. This is pretty dangerous. I am afraid of spikes. Okay. Okay, this is new. Uh, marble statue. Mm, I think this is money related. I mean, I don't know. This is... I do more damage when I'm low life. This isn't really that good for us. Because on low life, there is a good chance we're gonna get one shot. And also, we're healing a bunch. It's In general, it's better to go with on max life. Which is the shield. So, let's take this and see what it is. What's the marble statue? Landing creates a small shockwave that destroys mid-size projectiles in these 70... What? Whoa! Ooh, this is nice. So this is like randomly you don't get damaged. Okay. Those go through walls as far as I know. No, they don't. Okay, I mean, I don't know enough. It seems. Got the shot, got the kill, got the thing done. Oh, I even have this. Wait a minute, I can do like whoop. Hop. That was stupid. Cannonball. I would have died, by the way. As you quickly realize. Oh, we got punches. We got the super punches, actually. This is a fabled weapon. A kindled gauntlets gain a blessing of strength, which gives us more damage. Fabled weapon throws an explosive shot after a short distance. Then they skill crit. Explosions can hit you. They will skill crit. After a certain distance. Ah, after a certain distance, it's a crit. Uh, what's the next boss? It's, uh, it's the eyes. Well, this is not with good with the eyes, but I can attack from from far. Let's take this. But Sif, the cannon is new. Why are you doing this? Because this is insane, and this is also new for most of you. Look at this. Yeah, this is insane. And you can shoot it very fast. So the damage you can do is a lot. And now I can also, you know, heal anyway. Because uh, I'm a mage. Oh, they changed this. I'm a vampire, by the way. When I said I'm a mage, I mean I I'm a vampire. Boom, 110 damage. Let's go. This also does a bunch of damage in general. Not only does it shoot from afar, it also does a bunch of damage. Oh, I'm this, this blocking of projectiles is insane. Yeah, this is a very good thing we got. I'm super happy about this. I just move and everything gets destroyed. Love it. Let's go up for it. I know I, I left a bunch of chests behind. We got this again. Which, as I said, low life, you do more damage. And this is that every single attack you do uh, applies a buff to the opponent. I guess a debuff. It's called combo. And you do more damage the more combo you have. But the thing is, do I want to deal with combo? I mean, I can easily maintain my combo by just spamming and jumping and spamming and jumping all the time. So theoretically, I should do this against bosses. On the other hand, it's pretty dangerous uh, to throw 88 resolve away. Uh, back to a Selm. Nah, let's reroll here. I might as well spend our one reroll on this. So this is new, Voltaic Circlet. This looks like mana to me. I hate mana. This is very dangerous. This is a one, like this, this makes everything into a one shot run. And I'm gonna go all in, I think. I'm gonna go full in on this. This is gonna make it so we take double damage and we also do double damage. So that means if I ever hit myself with explosions, uh, I will like instantly die. So this is very dangerous, but I like almost always take it. So I'm gonna YOLO all in here. And if we die, we die and we go with another run. You deal and take 100% more damage. Which as I said, there is a good chance we're gonna literally just destroy ourselves with one hit. Okay, I do 137 damage, so, so that means if I get hit by something, I should get hit by, I mean, by my own attack. I should get hit, double of that is 200 something, and then 125% on top of that should be like instant death. But uh, you never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> uh, we will most likely get instant death the way I'm playing this. But also opponents are getting instant death all the time too, so that's nice. And in general, I will also take more damage from spikes, from the tree, and from a bunch of other things. So, right now the plan is the following. I go to most likely the next area, as I have found most of the things on this area. I will pick up the chest, though. Uh, this should be I press and jump. Nope. Yeah, I got it. Exactly what I wanted to do, by the way. Like, jump and then instantly try to jump again. And there is also the boom here. Is it not there? I don't know. I guess this... Uh-oh. I hate daggers, clap along if you also hate daggers. <laughs> That's the end of the song. I should not become a pop song artist. Whoa! Avoiding every- No! 267! Let's go! <laughs> Heal us for 30. Heal us for 30. So as you see, I take 200 something damage. So the moment I take one more hit, I'm dead. Dead. Whoa, we somehow survived. We would have died from that dagger, by the way. Classic. Classic dagger killing Sift runs. I mean, I guess that was not a classic dagger as it was not successful. Whoa. Okay, first of all, let's go and pick up the chest. 
Let's go pick up the chest we left behind. Because we are really getting out of hand here. Flames never dropped. Let's continue. Man, this uh, this tremolo of the explosion. Tremolo? What am I talking about? Safe talking about song um, music related stuff. Just because there is, you know, the ground shaking. By the way, I should do a safety heal. But uh, as you see, I'm not, I don't really care about it. Uh, let's just do it with jumps. There is no reason to do dashes. Do a dash here. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, double flame on the one side and the other. Pretty easy uh, trap fight, I guess. I'm gonna wait. There is no rush. So if there is rush, the video has a duration and you're increasing it. Uh, I think the time has come for me to go to the next area or the one after that. Uh, yeah, I want to go there. In general, I want to go to the sky, to the the library. Losing the health, time limit 10. I'm gonna just see what there is. Attack them. Yeah, that's not hard. <laughs> that's not hard. Yep, the, the timer's still going. I think there is like a constant sound with all my jumps. Like, boom, boom, boom. Oh, come on. You got it. Okay, I'm full life now, so I cannot one-shot myself. That's pretty good. Nice. I enjoy the damage we're doing. We're one explosion away from death, and we're also opponents are the same as two for opponents too. So it's fair game, right? Isn't it fair game? When you get one shot and opponents also get one shot? I mean, everybody gets one shot other than the bosses, so maybe it's not fair game. But, uh, you know, you know what I mean. A classic dagger. Trying to provoke me. Here. Bop. I still hate the daggers, man. Whoop, avoid. Go, boom. Come on. <laughs> gotta shoot from afar. Gotta hit the target. Okay, let's go again. I'll let I know what is in here. Okay, you can, like, just stay there. No. Run away. Hit him in the corner. Nice. As you see, opponents do not one-shot me. I I will one-shot myself. Opponents cannot really do, don't do, really do that much damage to us. I mean, they do damage. Don't get me wrong. But it's definitely not 200. Okay, we avoided that. How I how I didn't hit those spikes, nobody knows. Let's get some money out of this. Nobody knows how I avoided that. Just continue going downwards. Have to just spam X, by the way, one at a time. Uh, let's go over to the teleporter. It's going to be a bit faster this way. Okay, let's go here. I would say we go to the top. So that would be the Stingy Study. The, sting the reason I want to go to the Stingy Study specifically is because I know for a fact that you can always, always, always find at least one... Um, at least one, uh, what is it called? Come on, what's it, what is it called? Uh, at least one treasure, and also at least one, uh, and at least one relic, and at least one, um, uh, what is it called, man? <laughs> why, why is my mind stuck? Tree, tree, tree. You can find at least one tree. That guy's right. That's that's not good. Uh, that's that's not good. You sure I think you don't find anything? Yep, it's just the elites. Just the elites, as always. Let's continue going upward. People also were telling me that I didn't find all the secrets or something. About I don't know what. Uh, that might be the case, but please remember that I have done like pretty much the whole game and also secrets in general. So uh, one thing is I don't remember where everything is. The second thing is that I have done them before, so I don't even you know realize what I haven't done yet. You know, what I'm missing and where they are. And all that, Sajaz. Okay, I can, let's let's remember that I can also damage with this, with the jumps, and I can also damage with the airstrike. So it's not like we're completely useless if somebody is close to us. Leather helm plus one. I mean, I'm not using the leather helm. Let's continue. Okay, this is not a very. Oh, I don't feel safe. Two hundred something. I'm dead. Death is coming for me. If anything hits me, whoop, we're still alive. Okay, opponent surviving is really making me anxious. Uh, the thing is, I need to be full life. Uh-oh. Yep, exactly. I need to be full life for uh, for when I find the tree. Because the thing is, the tree is gonna cost me like 5,000 life or something. I crit it. Nice. As long as I'm critting, nothing really survives. <laughs> okay, I prefer taking 100 than taking 200. Okay, you're toast. Break these. <laughs> uh, how do you get over there? I guess by just moving. 
Man, the, the this is insane. I, I really love this. This thing that explodes. It might be... Is it a bit too loud? I think it's a bit too loud. Uh, yeah, I mean, it feels like a bit too loud. Bye-bye, Doombus. Cannibal. Oh, what did I kill? I thought I killed the Doombus. I'm just throwing bombs ahead. And whatever dies, dies. If it dies, it dies. Let's go downward. Let's dash through this explosion. Let's uh, avoid that for a moment. Let's just go upward now. Okay, we're gonna do... I guess we don't have a triple jump. Oh, man. Whoa, that was dangerous. Don't attack the wall. <laughs> food for thought. <laughs> uh, not food for thought. Just, just a tip. In general, I'm not gonna go into challenge room. Not with this build. This build is just a boss layer. Uh... I don't want to wake those up. Yeah, forget that room completely. I'm just searching a very specific room. Uh, you attack the ground. Um, in general, I just gave my audience the tip to not attack the ground. Whoa, 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 look what we found. This is Blessing of Talent, which means more... Uh, blessing of Talent, is, I, I think it gives you more... Uh, what is it called? Uh, resolve. I can throw away the healing drink for the sh pirate ship. Creates a flying pirate ship that you can fly moving around, shoot stuff, blow your blows itself up. Uh, yeah, let's let's take it. I mean, I, I have the healing thing, so who cares about the healing thing? I have healing anyway. And also, blessing of talent's gonna give me more traits. I'm not gonna allow anybody to attack. There is no reason to. Let's go pick up the money. Do I want to go up there? Not really. I do want to find the library, but I don't want to go like... Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, now, I, now that I know that this is a dagger fight, I'm gonna dodge that. No, what a snipe! The sniper brought me in a bad position. Got me into a bad position, I guess. Let's avoid over there. I, I hear the money, though. I killed them all. Nice. Okay, whoa! Okay, I found what I wanted. <laughs> this is what I wanted to find, this room. Uh, now here, this is... This is very good. We're gonna take this. This is like every six kills you do, you get. You take zero damage the next hit you're about to take. Now, defeat six enemies to prevent the next source of damage hitting you. And uh, it said source of damage, as you read. So you, you gotta keep that in mind. It's gonna be important in a moment. You shoot in the wall. You get snipped. You also get snipped. I'm gonna avoid here. Okay, I'm gonna avoid that and that. Bomb over there. I don't know why I'm singing like Fireball. Should be singing. Um, explosion. <laughs> there is no song for that. Let's go on. And now, as you see at the bottom left, there is like a lit up thing. You see that lit up thing? That lit up thing is called I take zero damage from one damage source. Can you guess what the damage source is going to be? Or are you, like, new to this? In case you're new to this, here you go. Look at this. Boop. Zero damage taken. 53 max life forgotten. Uh, just like that. No downside. No nothing. The rebellion. War poisoned the land, which in turn creates this infestation. And now the infestation threatens to destroy the kingdom. This, uh, the cycle is vicious. The lightning storms also uh, are also getting closer, but we lack the manpower to build the minerals to disperse the ash clouds. My private sanctuary is now mine, mired with the clouds. The br bridgeway torn apart by the electric winds. The ancient and the philosophies were right. We are all connected, and not just this world, but all the worlds. And it is the stingian that binds us together. If someone is reading this, come to seek me out. I would like to chat. My soul is bound to the bridge on the eastern par parapet. The, that bridge is still standing, though it's it exists not in this world. Use your will to pull the bridge into existence. Poisonous thoughts. Use your will to bring it into existence. Return to Prishon. Use your will. I don't know what use your will exactly means. I think there is also like a secret back here, or maybe back here. Yep, found it. <laughs> People were telling me that I didn't find the secret. Formulas and charts fill the papers from end to end. Keep it together. Don't show Enoch you're unwell. He'll turn me into a box. I know he will. More and more memory. That would be a horrible fate indeed. 
left in the cellar to do his bidding. I just need a few more days to find a cure. Scar discovered. Closed space. And just like that, we unlocked a new Scar challenge. Uh, now that I got what I wanted from this area, the time has come for us to just go back to the previous one. Oh, let's avoid that room completely. I'm not gonna fight with daggers. I'm gonna fight with uh, shooters, though. Uh, let's uh, let's leave that healing on the ground in case I lose life in this specific room. Whoop, I have Doombus. As if I didn't know that something bad's gonna happen. I can look like this. Whoa! And I healed. Ha ha ha. What am I gonna do now about it? By the way, there is a dagger. I'm afraid of the daggers, man. I'm really afraid of the daggers. Dash through that. In case you didn't know, you can shadow dash uh, through everything that is, you know, a shadow. Let's go. This is the boss room. This is what I was searching anyway. Now we're gonna take this. Now we're gonna fly off to the... Where do I want to go? I see the whole map for a moment. Can I see the whole map for a moment? I guess we're gonna go there. Like, this is... Is this the... Wait, what is this? Oh, that's the elite. Oh, I didn't find Lamech's boss room. Well, that was a mistake. I mean, it should be... Here. So yeah, let's go pick up Lamech's boss room. Because it's gonna give us... Uh, gold. <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and explore a bit of... Uh, what is it called? Uh, Axis Mundi, you know, the... the tr wow, literally found it instantly. Nice. Axis Mundi, which is, uh, you know, the... Um, the a the area that is pretty huge. Let's go explore that. That should be... Uh, well, Axis Mundi should be here. It's always towards the right. So Axis Mundi should be from here towards the right. And then something like this. So we're gonna go here, explore, find Axis Mundi and explore it. And then gain a bunch of money, maybe even a few more relics from that. And then after that... We're gonna go and, um, what is it called? Whoa, what a snipe! We took zero damage, though. That's why we got that relic, which is insane for us. I could also, now that I think about it, by the way, I can also go with the on low life, you do more damage relic. Oh, look. Cheesing. Cheesing. Cheese is the way of the game. <laughs> uh, what is this? Immortal Kotetsu. Blessing of talent. Oh, that's a spell. By the way, I never use this. And then I can do like cannonball. Doof, 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 doof. I love this, man. I'm gonna keep this. Immortal Kotetsu is insane. Hold to aim, teleport the set distance, hitting everything in between, defeating enemies in this talent resets the cooldown. It sounds awesome. It is awesome. But it's definitely not for this build specifically. Because um, this is a melee thing. Like you press it and it brings you next to the opponent and it slashes through them. So it's pretty against what we're doing. So I'm not gonna go with it. I'm sorry in case you wanted me to, but... I'm gonna take another time. Would be nice if I could have found that. F found whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, everybody. I see you, daggers. Why am I doing it like this? Here you get snipped. Okay, I can attack right now. Okay, I really like the jumps doing damage. And just like that, we're gonna go over to Axis Mundi. Now we do have the six hits taken. It's gonna reduce one hit. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty relevant. I'm not gonna unlock Axis Mundi, that's completely stupid. And I'm not gonna do the whole Axis Mundi. I'm gonna do half Axis Mundi. I think this is, like, only once to know. Attention, Gregory. The bridge has fallen to the shift, just like everything else. And with sections of the bridge constantly switching places, the estuaries have deemed it too dangerous to ship supplies to the outlying village. The people won't make it to the next harvest if we won't help. Therefore, I want you to make all volunteers. We shall lead the shipments ourselves if we must. But in order to cross, you will need an heirloom contained in the... Yeah, I, I know that. In an entrance to cave, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes I wonder if they want the people to starve. But that is not the issue here. Perhaps by doing this, we can begin to atone for our past. And guess what? I have the heirloom already. Let's go. I lost a bunch of money, but who cares? When I say a bunch, I mean like a little. Okay, small amount, you know. Whatever, a little money. I lost a little money. It was like so little when I lost it. Yeah, I don't think so. Open the door. Ouvre la porte. This is like something that is stuck to me because of my kid years. Oh, this is gonna be a hard fight for us. As long as we cannot cancel. Oh, let's go. <laughs> this thing here is carrying us. Like the, 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 the stomp. The stomp is literally carrying us. No joke, no, uh, I literally mean it. It's it's the best thing we have gotten in this run yet. I mean, maybe not the best thing, but does it count as attacking? It even counters the blue bullets, and it doesn't count as attacking. Perfect. It just counter everything. Oh, it even counters bones. Nice. 
Why am I playing like this? Who knows? Uh, sometimes I'm I'm answering as sometimes I'm talking as if I'm answering like somebody asking something, but uh, it's actually just me. <laughs> no live stream, no nothing. It's just me talking like that. Well, jump. Yeah, you just jump. Nothing bad's gonna happen to you. I'm gonna avoid this. Yeah, you just jump, man. No, no, don't jump. Yeah, nice. <laughs> okay, that's toast. Okay, we're gonna avoid. Now we're gonna do this. We're gonna avoid that guy too. Now we're gonna do this. Whoa, that was weird. Cannonball. Uh, we're gonna wait. Boop, boop, boop. Nice. <laughs> this is so stupid. I hope you guys enjoy. I really like it. Oh, what is this? This is new. I, I have never ever seen this. Fabled weapon. First strike, skill crits, high health enemies. Second strike, skill crits, low health enemies. Blessing of strength, fabled weapon. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna say it. Do you see this thing? Contrarian, gold 30%, create demands risk, your weapon talents randomized. Yeah, we're gonna change weapons. Let's change weapons. But if the cannon's insane. No, we're gonna change weapons. We're gonna be like the guy, the master of weapons. And then we might even change the, uh, the, 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 what is the ship? Whoa, what is this? Okay. That seems insane. How often does this attack? Oh, I can just indefinitely fly? Wait a minute. Does that mean I can, like, literally indefinitely fly? Or is it, like, only three times? I want to test this. Is this actually, literally, permanent flight? Yeah. It is. They don't care. And honestly, I'm okay with it. They shouldn't care. Like, if people want to break the game uh, laterally... I mean, you know, um, like this. Who cares? Literally, who cares? As if it isn't really that important. This is insane. I love this weapon. This weapon, first of all, I have to say, I no longer am afraid to, you know, kill myself. <laughs> That's very important. That is very important to not, you know, lose the run because I'm stupid. At least in my mind, right? Now, this is going to be really bad against the bosses we're going to fight, though. Point that out. Just to be sure about this. I don't know how we're going to beat the bosses. I have never used this weapon against bosses. So, it is what it is. I have, I, I, I might have used this before, but... Oh, we got the shield. Nice. I might have used this before, by the way. Shadow Caster from the other side of the universe. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. I'm, I'm a bit afraid that we might get hit from something random. But this thing is pretty decent. Does it eat projectiles up? I don't think so. Can I read this? First strike skill crits, high health enemies. It's a fabled weapon, which means you get it very rarely. Second strike skill crits, low health enemies. But I don't know whose fabled weapon this is. Uh, because, in case you don't know, classes have their own failed, fabled weapons. For example, those punches we had previously, the explosive punches, is from the, from the fighter class. And uh, this fabled weapon now, I don't know from what class that is. At this point, I think I... Uh, I think it was a big mistake... Uh, taking uh, taking the, this dagger. The dagger that I can take double damage with. Okay, this is a very easy puzzle. They don't jump puzzle. A very easy puzzle. Just do whoop. Dup, dup. Here's the trap. You have to jump to the other side. And then continue from here. Because the moment this puzzle ends, you can no longer jump. So, as you see, this ground is higher than the rest. So, if you don't finish specifically here, you will lose the challenge. Or, or if you have like a double dash like me, you can just do this. But uh, not everybody has a double dash. So, just pointing those out. You no know, tactics in case you ever play the game. And here we're just gonna open up the door by just jumping. <laughs> Disable this thing. Fly time. Okay, let's fly back. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love this weapon. I love this weapon. I can't whoa, express enough how much I love this weapon. Wait, is the high damage crit on f first strike screw crits? High health enemies. Okay, got it. Got it, got it. What's oh, that's a new... I, I I haven't gotten used to that specific... What is it called? That specific elite affix is what it's called. And now the time has come for us to climb the tower. I mean, that's what I said I'm gonna do, so let's go to that. I mean, I'm not sure if it's a good idea. You have five out of six stars. Uh, but before I climb the tower... But Sift! We're gonna... We're gonna, yes, we're gonna go ahead and pick up the, the Tenchu thing. I'm not gonna stay on my flank ship. I wanna see the flank ship, though, how it exactly functions with uh, this this thing. Let's see how does this function. Oh, I can control myself. Oh, this is good. Oh, wait a minute. This might be good. Being able to not be forced to dash. Because, honestly speaking, 
the boss fights are gonna be really trash with this. Like, I'm gonna be doing this thing all the time. But do I care? Am I not the guy that said that I'm gonna just change it up all the time? Let's YOLO it. Let's YOLO it. Heavy YOLO here. Teleport set distance. Boom. That's what it looks like. It looks insane, I know. It has cooldown, timely based. In case you didn't see it, I'm gonna show it again. Boom. I think it looks insane. Uh, let's go with... You know what? How much do I have? I have 159 resolve. I definitely need a bit more. Uh, a few more uh, items. Give me a sec. Didn't I find like 20% more damage on low life? I think I want that. Because my healing is based on weapon damage. So that means if I do more damage, I get more health, right? Uh, where Where is that even? I don't even know where that is. You know what? I don't care. Let's just go to the next area. Let's go Kergulian Plateau and upward we go. And when I say Kergulian Plateau, I mean Sun Tower. So this was a mistake. <laughs> Whoopsie. Let's go over now to the area we wanted to actually go, Sun Tower. Although I would enjoy getting one more one more max life, you know. So maybe I should search a bit more for max life. I really don't know what to exactly do. Whoa, double dash. Double jump. Yeah, that's enough. Let's wait. Up, up. Yeah, exactly what I didn't want to happen. That's the problem. That's the problem. With the strikes. But they do a lot of damage. That's the, the upside. That if I hit something, it's most likely gonna be dead. But guess who's not gonna be most likely dead? Yep, the boss. If you guess the boss, you actually found the answer! Whoa, I'm about to die. Whoa. I cannot attack over there. Whoa, chill, dude. Since when? No! Ah. Ah. Yeah, the weapon killed us. And I didn't use the, the dash strike even once. I didn't use the dash strike even once. It's a bit sad. Uh, let's go with... I think I can reroll. Alexithymia. Mm, he doesn't know how much left the opponents have. This guy, this character is insane. We're gonna go and beat Irad with this guy right away. But saved, you literally said you need a bunch of farm. Yeah, but now we got exactly what we need <laughs> in the same character. Uh, you know, I'm not just a blacksmith. I was trained with in, in the crafting of large-scale items like armor, plows, and swords. But I learned the skills of the whitesmith too. Whitesmith, get it? Rings, fine tools, and etchings. Is that a thing? I don't think so. Smithing is just a job to me. It is my blood. Everything to make to put almost in it. So stop complaining about my prices. You stop being that weird. You're a weird man. You're randomly just trash talking me for no reason. I hate you. Let's go with armor and dexterity. 4,000. Uh, uh, do I want that? Oh, it's going to give me plus 10 leather on top of what I already have, which gives us results. So I'm going to get that. Okay, that's done. Are you selling double jumps as far as I know? Yeah, give me the double jump, please. This is going to cost me uh, a bit of resolve. Uh, not resolve this thing, whatever this is called. Rune, rune strength. 2000 this, 2025. Yeah, we're gonna go with it. 2025. 2049. Is that enough? How much do I need, by the way? How much exactly do I need? I'm gonna talk to the old man over there in a moment. Uh, I need... 60? Oh, I need two more. Can I remove something? Yeah, hey, Strun, forget this. Okay, got it. Good thing I went over here and checked. Plus 10 resolve. This is good. 10 resolve is good. Quick rune. I don't think I want the rest. Let's go get some stats. And we're gonna begin. I can get the chef. I can get the dragon. The AVV, the dragon answer. Uh, or I can get stats to try to win the game. Yeah, that's the thing though. It's... Uh, it's uh, uh, First of all, money gain. <laughs> first of all and foremost, money gain is I think the most important here. Or damage and health. Let's go just damage and health. How much does this cost? 1,200. 1,300. 1,200. 1,700. 1875 and I have 1878. If this is not a if this is not the game telling me to go damage, then I don't know what is. Child, have you come to hear my stories? I used to be a bard, you know, a teller of stories, both fables and truth. He has the best stories, man. And I was famous and known all across the land as he who tells the worst stories. Yeah, I know. Now, I may have been bad, but I was famous. Yeah, I got him. Got him. <laughs> the the trick, man. The the tactic. The play. Let, let's fight this event that we unlocked. Not this one. Here, this one. Close space. 
Let's see how we're gonna deal with this, with this character we have. And then, we're gonna go and try to beat Irad. Keep it together, don't show Enoch you're on well. Yeah, we read that today. Let's go onward. What is this? Uh, this is deal more bonus damage on enemies with sense effects. We're gonna see if we have skill crits, have an extra 20% chance to become super crits. Okay, fair enough. Next. We got every 6th attack is more damage against for every different relic I get 6% damage. Uh, I think 6% damage times 3 is more than 75% every 6th because 75 divided by 6 is about 12. So the left is most likely gonna get caught in there. And poison. Okay, we got the combo. We're gonna go with poison obviously. We're gonna go with uh, the more relics you have, the more damage you do. And then we're also gonna go if an opponent has a stats effect, they take 20% more damage. Because I literally apply poison with every hit I do. So it's a very simple and clean build. By the way, in these fights, you get a fixed level. As you see, we're level 8 at the top left. Like, the game just balances you out. So now we're doing poison. Enemies take more damage. And this is the fight room. We're gonna fight the chest. Which I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to beat. Just so you guys know, it's not like, oh, Sift is doing the chest, so he knows what he's doing. No. Yep, exactly. We get hit once. There is no healing here. Twice. We might lose, but this is, as I said, mostly just looking out for this. You know, doing the fight. Showcasing it. Do the bombs in the air. Thank you. That's a good one. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Avoid, avoid, avoid. I should have avoided better, by the way. I made a mistake. Uh, most people should know what the mistake was. Okay, this is bad. Uh, this is going very well until, you know, we will get one shot here. Oh, uh, that was lucky. Nice. No, 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 don't do this, man. Don't do this. Don't, don't make me choke. No, no. This was very close. This was very close. In case you didn't know what the mistake was, the mistake was I should have done this. The moment he started throwing bombs, I could have killed him if I did it correctly. Uh, but we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Oh, so if didn't do the challenge, blah, blah, blah. No, I, I wanna just continue doing content. In general, I don't think the challenges are really something crazy. Uh, most of the challenges are either double boss fights or boss fights in weird arenas. You know, there is a boss fight. There is one where you fight uh, the first boss two together. There is one where you fight the third and the fourth boss together. There are a bunch of different in, in general. Like, there are a bunch of different challenges with bosses. But uh, I have done these, you know, on my old playthrough. And honestly, people have told me they don't want to see the old save. But, uh, I mean, I also don't really want to do the same challenges. But do you guys want to see the challenges, like specifically the challenges or are you more excited about the runs i mean i don't I, i'm not talking about showcasing them right I'm, I'm i'm gonna be showcasing everything that i can or unlock or find you know but i'm talking specifically about showcasing the challenges and uh, i think i just there is a secret here okay let's go upward okay got it nice go downward and this is outside let's see where this outside leads us pretty decent spot let's go see the other side again Okay, we hate the slugs as always, especially when there are like barrels and make the slimes not uh, not get hit. Okay, I'm gonna go up first, see what there is here. This isn't the room that has anything. But once again, it's not only important to look at the rooms themselves, but also where they lead. And this specific room might lead us, you know, might, might lead us to a... Uh, what is it called? To a relic, you know, a relic. Or, or a tree, you know, there are a bunch of rooms that could save us. Come on. Come on, my dude. Okay, got him. Still the slugs are the slug. That was a trap. <laughs> that was Are you kidding right now? Here. Get countered. And just like that, this whole room did not serve any purpose whatsoever. Uh, I mean, gold gaining is good. Don't get me wrong, gaining gold is good. But gaining relics and in general beating the run is better. Is it though? Now that I think about it, maybe I'm wrong about this. I hate the slugs. Okay, counter this. It's safer to count. No, that was a bait. Okay, now we lost our counter for the next five attacks. So that means there is an opponent at the top. Uh, let's also gain the money. And uh, let's pass over to the other side just to see what there is. We have just the one room. I don't care about that one specific room. It doesn't seem to have anything important. We're gonna pass over to the other side from this spot. Okay, we're gonna wait for that flip. Now we're gonna do this, and this, and this, and this. Oh no! The cooldown! 
the rely me relying on this <laughs> get got us. Wait, is this the guy that doesn't see opponent's life? I'm playing with this guy this whole time. I didn't even realize. Uh, let's go with try to go over there. Is this a good idea? I I, I don't want to lose life. I don't want to lose life just for a treasure chest. I know, I know, treasure is important, but what is more important is to try to actually get a win. At least in my mind. So uh, you can cry about it if you want in the comments, but I can't do anything about it because I decided already. You know, I mean, I mean, you know, you are in the past for me, so that's what I mean. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Whoa, we got relic. Every hit uh, applies damage to the opponent, or every sixth hit. Uh, I'm gonna go with this because the boss is stationary, so I can easily just spawn punches and destroy it. If I'm a bit lucky, that is obviously. Ah, the combo goes on me. That's even better. So I get the combo and I get the damage boost instead of, you know, the opponent getting comboed, which was how it was back in the day when I was playing. Okay, let's counter these because why not? Flexing. Got him. Okay, I see the, the stupid slime over there, which I still hate. Yeah, you can do your thing. We're gonna see if this is a relic room. It is not. It goes to the other side, though. So maybe oh, that was almost got getting hit. Let's see, is this a relic room? Nope. And it also goes to the other side. Yeah, well, whatever. Okay, these guys die on three hits. These guys on two, on three, two. Okay. Those guys blink and shoot projectiles the moment they appear. That was not how they were, by the way. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is new. Wow. They are adding a bunch of things to this game. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy that the enemies don't have only one specific pattern. This opponent was normally blinking and not shooting. It was only blinking. It was only being obnoxious. Now it's obnoxious and all the old suit can damage you. Uh, and these guys, these, uh, like, the slags were always like this. <laughs> they were always trash. Let's go to the bottom one in case there was a relic. Or a tree for that matter, but none of those happened. Let's continue going upwards. Let's remember that I'm healing 40% of my life the moment I hit the boss. Okay, this is a treasure room. And this is, in general, an easy treasure room. So, I should be able to do this. Especially with the class I have. Because I can just do this. Okay, can you, like, come over here? The left ghost. Thank you. No, I... I, I... I'm gonna explain exactly what happened. Then if you wanna believe me, then so be it. <laughs> um, well, the jump is on X. And the, the hit, are everything around me is on triangle. That is what happened. <laughs> as simple as that. Nothing more to explain. Nothing less. What I mean is because I jumped, my hand wasn't going fast enough over to the counter button. And you might say, Yosef put the counter button in a different button like L1 or something. But... Uh, yeah, maybe I should. Uh, by the way, I have L1 this thing. I have the air jump on L1. So that's why I have it there. I think the L jump, like... I think this is more important than anything else. Let's go here. No, the boomerang blade. I saw it coming a mile away. Let's see what this is. Okay. We're gonna avoid all of these. We're gonna counter this. Let's block completely everything. Okay. And I love the Valkyrie. Uh, is this the Valkyrie? I love this class. I've, this class and specifically the knight and the samurai are my best classes. Like those three classes, I'm I'm decent at, and also the assassin. The assassin is also something I'm decent at. I'm I'm in general I'm good in, uh, with classes that have like one button that literally makes you not take damage. That's how, what I'm good at. Whoa, that's 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 the that's the stuff. <laughs> that's what I was talking about. Literally, whoa! You guys cannot do anything to me. Let's get spell blocked. Yeah, what are we gonna do? Oh no, shadow casting. Oh no, what else shall we do? Let's go. I don't think so. I don't think so. Easy, man, I love this class. It's insane. Let's see what we get. And this is just a treasure room, but we're gonna just skip it and see if this is a relic room. Which it's not. Uh, should I try this fight? Uh, I'm... Uh, no, 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 no. This, uh, as I said, this specific class I have right now is very powerful against the final boss. So we're gonna try to stick to the plan. Uh, because I have two things. First of all, I'm a Valkyrie, so I have the Valkyrie spell itself, which I wasn't fast enough on using here. Are you kidding me right now? 
I lost a lot of life for no reason. Okay, we're gonna just cheat straight up. Yeah, bye. Got cheesed, bro. I need healing. Uh, we will only heal 40% in front of the boss, so right now we aren't in full life. Yeah, and now, and now the problem starts. The fact that I need healing means that I will not be full life on the boss, because the chance of, of us getting actually healing is pretty slim, because that's how the game goes. Maybe here, if I'm lucky. Nope, I'll give him something else. Oh, what is that? That was a mistake. I mean, just reset the room. Okay, we can do this, obviously. And we got a new rune. It's the Fogel rune. It's not a new rune. I had that. It is a bad rune. <laughs> Best rune in the game? Gold gain. So after that, more jumps, more dashes. After that, magnetism. <laughs> after that, nothing. There isn't anything else that's good. I mean, there is, but still. I guess the shield rune. We're not gonna go there. Oh, there is a secret here. Uh, I don't have energy and I also don't have my spell. It's bad. You do the flame. It's an elite, by the way. I see this. I'm seeing it. You got him. Let's also get rid of this guy. God, are you kidding me? Is this also an elite? Nope. We gain the money. We have our spell ready. Uh, I would say I'm not gonna use my passive. I'm just gonna use this thing. Also gonna slide with it. I guess we go left. I don't know why there is like a little zigzag over there. Just to mess with you, I guess. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that. That was there from the get-go. Okay, I think we go left and then up and we should be there. The fact that I didn't find a single relic and a single tree is pretty bad. I'm thinking about going back in the first area and just farm a bit just to be ready for the boss. I think that's something smart. I think it's something that a smart person would do and I think I also should do it myself. Should I go down for the treasure chest? I mean, there is always a lead down there, and I think the elite is already over there. Yeah, like, it's a it's a flame throwing elite. Yeah, let's just not go there. Okay, got it. An arrow. As long as you get an arrow alongside whatever else you're attacking, you're good. You know. Let's see, relic? Nope. Uh, I mean, this is an easy fight room in general. Okay, we're gonna go now. Can I jump up? What is this? Is this secret? I don't know. Oh, hello. You might not be stronger than estuaries, but you have something they don't. Another chance. Why don't they have another chance? Journal entry 1. 15 days since the rebellion. We read notes. I've not been sleeping recently. The sudden bout of insomnia won't seem to end. Estuary Enoch took notice of my ailment and referred me to Philosopher Noose, so a so-called specialist. I expected him to offer a tincture to help me sleep, but all that N Cook did was give me his journal. Ailments of the mind come from the mind. Outrageous Noose believed my insomnia is subconsciously self-inflicted. But he came at my brother's behest, so I must continue to fill in this journal, if only to humor his specialty for now. By the way, Noose means in Greek, um, mind. So, uh, I mean, mind actually is Mnalo, but Noose is like the mind. I, I don't know how exactly to get, get the trans translation across. <laughs> That's how we deal with this. That's how we deal with this. Did you see that? Easy, easy dodge. Easy dodge. Let's go. I mean, that's it. That's the thing, right? If you if you know the enemy's pattern, if you, and if you know how they attack, you can easily dodge whatever they throw to you. If you don't know what they're doing, then problems are cured. Okay, that room over there might be a treasure room. It might actually be anything. So I'm gonna YOLO it and try to get there. Mm, I'm, I'm trying to get the timing down. My, my plan is to jump down here and then dash through. So that would happen the moment they are flat now. Oh, let's go, double jumps. That's how you do with it, double jumps. As long as we have double jumps, oh, we found exactly what I wanted. Uh, although I would like to get the max life, I'm gonna just go with the healing. I mean, maybe I should go with the max life, because I would have healed 40% before the boss fight. But would that 40% be enough? Heal what I would have lost? Let's go. Double dash. Up we go. And the time has come for us to fight Irad. Am I gonna beat Irad at level 69? Which I just realized I am at? I think this is what I should do, you know. Now that I'm exactly this level, it's perfect. We also have the combo thing. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. 
The build is built against is good against the rad. So let's see how this will go. He's doing shadow casting, which is his weakest cast. Uh, I want to test if this counters that. Okay, it does not. So we got to keep in mind that the flippy thingy does not counter the blue thing that he's doing right now. Exactly. Now I have 3D combo, as you see. This is his most uh, st stupid pattern, by the way. This electricity explosion. I wasn't fast enough on avoiding that. Let's stop these from existing. Shadow cast. Shadow dashing, I guess. Okay, and he's done. Phase one is done. Now I'm healing a bit of mana. I told you this build is good for Rirad. Yeah, we're gonna go here. He's doing explosion. We're gonna dodge that. He's doing double explosions. Uh, let's jump over there where we were. Let's go here. Block everything. Okay, shadow cast, whatever. I have no idea how much life he has, by the way. I have an idea how much I have, but I don't know how much he has. He, he might kill us right now. Whoop. Everybody, this when he does this, man, when he's like, I'm gonna attack all the sides of this. No, no, I'm pretty sure he was almost dead. I'm so sure he was almost dead. Ah, ah, sad moment, sad moment. I, I think he was almost dead. I'm pretty sure he was. What is this guy? Methylmeglobinia, <laughs> blaze, and a combat roll. Um, Tesla spike and hypercoagulation. Hypercoagulation is you pretty much don't die unless. Yeah, let's go with this. Unless you get one shot. Let's go with the mage. I think the mage is gonna give us the win the next run. So, let me showcase the mage here. Hypergregulation. The springtime of your youth will answer later. Health regenerates, but you lose some max HP when hit. That's what that does. And then we also have spike, electric spike, and the explosion spell. Uh, did we find anything new for these guys? I mean, we found something for her, but not the focal rune. Who cares about that? I know I'm a mage, but I'm still gonna go with damage-related stuff. What is this? Increased dexterity, raising weapon crits. More rerolls, um, more health. Let's get a class. To the skies, the personal soldier rescue are rerad. Dragon lancers are trained and aggressive aerial actions. Charge your weapon, control your trajectory, and take the skies. I don't want to become that right now. But save new classes plus armor. What is this? The flying blocks. Unlock pirates. Should I go for a pirate or should I stick with what I have? I really enjoy what I have. I really like the mage we have. I guess we can go with a pirate, I guess. What is this pirate? A class unlocked R. Why stay clean when you can fight dirty? Knock back your foes with your massive cannon, then use them for target practice and shoot them out the sky. And if you ever find yourself in the corner, you can always call for backup from your mateys. Yes, I want to become a, I guess, pirate. So I kept the good spell, which is this one, which is actually a good spell, as you see. They also remade this. This did not look this awesome. Yeah, it looked definitely different. It didn't look this awesome. I can guarantee you that. And um, yeah, I mean, pirate class, his passive, cheap shot, 10% weapon and skill crit damage. And then, uh, you know, dash attacks, do crits, and pirate ship flies. And we have hypercalculation. Uh, let's try to get the... Oh, he wants to talk to us. Who wanted to talk to us? Yeah, we're not going to talk to that guy. Uh, let's go ahead and do, like, the, the, the main challenge here, the simple start. So uh, we continue gaining, you know, points on all the classes. Yeah, this is, uh, we know what that is, and we also know what the other thing is. What is this? This is the combo thing, and this is on max health, but on low health, do more damage. Ah, let's reroll. What is this? Crits, 20% chance to crit. Nice, we're just gonna straight up take that. And then we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna pick up the on jumps, explode everything around you. And I think we're good to go. Also want to use like the ship a bit. I this class is new, so I'm not really used on using the ship. And in general, I'm not really that good on using offensive skills because, like, I I have like I guess a thought process of what can I say? I have like a thought process of I will use the items when I need them or some something like that. I guess my mind doesn't work in normal ways sometimes. Whoop! Let's go here. Uh, I I don't know if it's understood what I meant. With what I said, like, um, I, I, I'm really bad at using offensive spells, at using offensive uh, things. Like, with a, because with the defensive uses, in general, you just, you know, you're about to get hit, you press the button. It's as simple as that. And you see me sometimes, I don't have a cooldown ready, and I still press the button that would save me if I, if I had the cooldown ready. While uh, the opposite happens. Wait, did I lose my ship? Oh, you can jump away from your ship. Oh, this is insane. So you can just put it up as a turret. 
Oh, this is really good. Oh yeah, okay, 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 okay. I'm 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 on board with this. I love it. I love it. I love it. I didn't realize you you just put this ship somewhere and then jump off the ship and it just shoots. I love it. As an idea, it's definitely nice. Okay, we got our silver trophy here because you know we're slowly gathering trophies. What do you what are you um what do you do? Unbreakable will. Now we're gonna keep our uh yeah, look at this. This is what I was talking about. Uh, Ballista Archer, Fury's Fighter, and, and, and Kindle Boxer, Stoic Waiter, and then there's one more here, and I guess two more here or something. Like, uh, you, you can just get the class. Existent, uh, uh, pardon, what is this? You always have a favorite spell. Ooh, you can even choose favorite spells? I didn't know that. that. That's new, that's new. A bunch of things are new. What is this? Strange Transaction. Buy Soul Stones from the Kyrus Twins. Then give them right back. Spend resources to buy Soul Stones. What? This is insane! Oh man, oh man, oh man. I wanted them to add this so long ago. And they actually do that. So you pay 2,500 uh, blood and metal. And you gain 150 soul. This is insane, by the way. For for my other build. Like for my for my old save file. I have like millions. Like, I have millions. I have thousands of silver and blood. You you can't really use it. Especially if you have all the upgrades on the weapons and, and stuff, you know. Although I don't have them anymore because the game patched. Anyway, I think we're gonna end this here. So, let me tell you what I was thinking. I was thinking I play this completely normally, like I'm playing it right now. As you see, we're not getting the wins anymore. We got the first wins because I'm really used at this. But I, I know, like, the game is definitely made with you farming in mind, okay? So, you need more max life. Obviously, obviously, there are people that are good in this. People that are good in this. Maybe even better than me, obviously. <laughs> But, uh, why would I say maybe even better than me, as if that's, like, something weird. Anyway, yeah, so, people, are, uh, there are people that are better than me and might beat this game faster than me, but for now, I wanna chill up, out, you know, play this game in a relaxing manner, farm, farm, while also going for fights. That's what I'm gonna do from here on out. I'm gonna go around the city, pick up some relics, pick up some gold. I mean, maybe it's gonna be a bit boring, because I'm gonna be going back to the same areas again and again. But uh, I don't know what else to do, man. The one cho choice is to just spam fights with Erod again and again and again and again. And pick up whatever money I find. The other choice is, uh, as I said, to just uh, go around, pick up some relics, pick up some uh, trees, pick up some uh, money. And then just fight the fall boss. And if we die, we die. I think I could have gotten a win like previously, but it was so close. So close. If, if for example, if the left eye didn't decide to do that specific attack pattern and did like shadow casting or something else other than, you know, shadow wave. I would have survived, I think. But I don't think it really matters. At the end of the day, we're gonna beat them at some point. We're gonna beat that whole thing at some point. So, um, it is what it is. Does the dash work on this? Oh, you cannot dash. Ooh. Wait a minute. What? Did I... How do you get this back? Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. I think if you dash off the ship, it actually crits. Wait, what? But it did crit previously. How? Now it did crit. I don't understand. Anyway, I don't think it matters. It even burns opponents. I love the ship. I love this thing. I love the ship. I love this correct class. I mean, I'm definitely going to be good at it. Uh, classes that get locked in when they attack are really bad for me. Like this class. This comp th that's why I like the, the knight, by the way. The knight, I think, is the only class that you uh, can attack and move backwards at the same time. That's why I'm good at, at, the, at, the, at the knight. I need you mobility. That's why I'm talking about double jumps. That's why I'm talking about dashes. That's why I'm talking about everything that has to do with mobility. Like, mobility is king, especially, especially in this game. Yeah, like, the knight can do this move. The move you just see here. Uh, me attacking and also moving backwards. He can do that on the ground. Like, on the ground, you can just smack. I, I cannot do that with this. I'm, I'm not sure if you're listening to this here, but, like, I, I cannot move. So, yeah, I think that's going to be it. I, um, as I said, I'm gonna chill out a bit more with this game. I was thinking about doing, um, you know, normal run for now. Until I beat everything. Uh, until I unlock, you know, things and stuff. Then I was thinking about after the normal runs I'm doing, then I was thinking about doing a full run on everything, like every single uh, boss fight, like everything from start to finish. Because if I beat the final boss fun fight once, then I can do it again. Like, I can beat the whole game, actually, not because if I am enough levels and enough, uh, you know, I have enough stats to beat the final boss fight. Then that means I can definitely beat Irad and, uh, you know, uh, the first boss and the second and the third and all of the bosses with the same stats. So my plan is farm and play normally, beat the final boss, restart the game, do not go to new game plus one, go to new game, the simple version, just, just you know, literally do the same run again, beat everything in one run, and then I'm gonna do a showcase with every single class, and then from there on out, I don't know, we're gonna see. Uh, maybe even play a bit new game plus, maybe do a live stream on this, I mean, I have no idea, in general I have no idea what to do with this game, so uh, all ideas are welcome. I'm thinking about, as I said, doing a live stream, uh, but I'm, I'm not exactly 100% sure about that. Because uh, on the one hand, yes, live stream. On the other hand, 
I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't know how exactly to edit it after that. Mm, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Do people want to see a live stream on this? Maybe I could do that. And then just get done with the whole game within like five hours or something. Because I think within five videos, we should have had... Like, Irwan should die. If not the next video, the video after that. I mean, the next video part is, is the, the fact that I have a pirate and I'm not good at the pirate. <laughs> you know, uh, otherwise, you know, we, we would already beat him if if I played with a soldier. I think if I play with a soldier, I'm beating Irad like instantly. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I think we're gonna end this here. I, I hit the hour mark. I could have avoided the hour mark if I wasn't so stupid about talking with, with whatever, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna end this here. Once again, thanks for all the Patreon and the membership supporters. If you wanna join, you know, you get some emojis. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys liked. And I would like to hear some opinions on uh, what my decisions are. And, yeah, that's going to be it. Once again, thanks for watching. And see you guys around.